We've been a little bit weird in our community for a long time because everywhere else in the world, the word planetarium means just the dome. The Salt Lake area, the Wasatch Front, has come to use the term planetarium to mean the larger facility itself, the dome merely being an important part of it. Whereas old school museums really focused on artifacts and text panels, we are really encouraging people to get their hands on to these artifacts and to get into experiences where they can put themselves there. And it's more than just reading a panel. It's, it's fully immersive, fully interactive learning. We're a catalyst for education. About four or five years ago, we really started the planning process for upgrading our exhibits here at the planetarium. We came to realize that uh, no matter how cool your science exhibits are, they have a finite lifespan and that we were at the upper limit of their working life. We have torn this building apart and put it back together. Everything from new carpet, new paint, and it has just been a frenetic pace. It's, it's been an amazing experience and a, a re really crazy experience. Shut up. Yeah. That's so awesome. You're that excited though. We can wait till next week. The planetarium is home to an Apollo 15 moon rock. When we started this construction process, we had to move the rock out of the building, and NASA requires that any time the rock is out of its special alarmed case, it has to be in a secure facility and it has to be transported under armed guard. Zion's Bank was kind enough to partner with us to protect and keep our moon rock safe during construction. If you handed this to a scientist and said, put this in a lab and study it, they would come back to you and say, this is not a rock from Earth. Right. Even though it's a basalt, this is not a terrestrial basalt. Thank you for storing this priceless thing. People say, well, how much is that thing worth? And the answer is simple. What would it cost to go get another one? People really do have sort of an innate love and fascination with the cosmos. What I'm so excited about is that we'll be reigniting that love and interest for our community in space and science. If we're going to have the economy and the society that we want that's going to make us glad to be here 30 years from now, you've got to really amp up public science literacy. That's got to start by your inspiring six-year-olds. The ripple effect that we have with our visitors as they leave and go out and learn more, it's really inspiring the work that we do here and fun.